Zayo's antennae twitched, a reflex left over from a world that no longer existed. The air on this new planet was thick, clinging to her iridescent skin like a damp cloth. Gone was the crystalline breeze of Xyloria, the gentle whisper of her home. Now, a harsh wind scoured the dusty plains, whipping sand against her multifaceted eyes. She was alone. The last Xylorian. The Vorians, with their warships the color of a dying sun, had descended upon Xyloria, a paradise turned to ash in a matter of solar cycles. Zio had escaped in a beat-up scout ship, a speck fleeing an inferno. Weeks, or perhaps months, had blurred in the cramped cockpit. Now, a crash landing on this desolate world marked the end of her escape and the start of an uncertain future. Days bled into each other. Hunger gnawed at her bioluminescent form, a pang unlike anything she had ever known. The flora here was alien, inedible. Despair, a cold, suffocating thing, threatened to consume her. One evening, as the twin suns dipped towards the horizon, painting the sky in hues of bruised purple, a flicker of movement caught her eye. A small, chitinous creature, skittering across the sand. Hope, a fragile bud, bloomed in Zio's chest. With the limited tools at her disposal, she scavenged from the wreckage of her ship, fashioning a rudimentary snare. After days of trial and error, she trapped the creature. It was unlike anything she'd known, with a hard carapace and six spindly legs. Hunger warred with a strange reluctance. Zio had never killed. But survival is a harsh teacher. With a trembling hand, Zio ended the creature's life. The taste was foreign, metallic, but it quelled the gnawing emptiness within. That night, as Zio stared at the unfamiliar stars, a new resolve solidified. Xyloria was gone, but she was here. This harsh world, with its alien beauty, was now her canvas. She would learn to survive, to thrive. The days that followed were a constant struggle. Zio studied the creatures, the plants, the patterns of the suns. Slowly, she began to understand this new ecosystem. She learned to hunt, to find edible flora, to adapt her technology to scavenge resources from the crashed ship. One day, while scavenging, she stumbled upon a cave filled with bioluminescent fungi. Their glow mirrored the light of Xyloria. A tear, a single luminous drop, escaped her eye. It wasn't just about survival anymore. It was about keeping a part of her home alive. The harsh landscape softened as Zio built a rudimentary shelter, a place to house her salvage technology and the glowing fungi. It wasn't Xyloria, but it was hers. Years, perhaps decades, passed. Zio, the last Xylorian, became a legend whispered on the wind. A strange, luminous being who lived in the caves, a silent guardian of the harsh plains. One starlit night, a tremor shook the ground. From the horizon, a ship descended, unlike anything Zio had ever seen. It wasn't Vorian. Hope, long dormant, flared anew. Perhaps, she wasn't truly alone after all. As the ship landed, casting a metallic shadow, Zio emerged from the cave, her bioluminescent form a beacon in the night. The last Xylorian, ready to face whatever awaited her. 